Hello there, I am Dr. D2, and I'm gonna cat. I just caught on fire, apparently. Get up. Nope, that's failure. Well, crap. That makes death number two. So I have to run from whatever that is while looking for the symbols. Because they... Well, what's this? Okay. It's a mob. What is it? I think it represents the, a mob that blamed her for pointing out that water was poisoned? Man, times back then must have sucked. Oh crap, oh crap. I'm so close. Screw you, fire guy. Not lost. I know it's in this general direction. I think. Right? Oh, no. No, bad, bad. Ah, crap. It's in that general direction. Um, oh hi. Hey, there you are. Thanks. Look at the door. What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make no truth. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. I hate these people looking for just one scapegoat to get all their troubles. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. I missed another one! Son of a bitch. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. 
You've been fooled before, you could be fooled again. I don't you, I don't need to hear your crap with to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. Had a great gate. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. I, I think I know this story. He was pricked by the pin that was poisoned, right? Not a pin, it was some kind of just little needle. What's funny is about all these stories is they talk about it like it's already done. What in the hell is that? That what? This is new. This is very new. So we got a happy world and, and a stormy world. I actually like the rain, so. The bridge. It's not broken. It's fixed. What happened? Bridge is fixed. Let's cross it. St they're still sounding like the annoying people you hear that won't shut up in a movie. All right, which one is this? All right. Why would they put them in that order? The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, the father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Yeah, he's the one who kills him. Dillian is in there. Don't forget. You can feel me. You can feel me. You need the runes to fight Dillian. You need Dillian. He's waiting for you. Only one room. He he's close. He cares about you. He's close. He loves hmm. you. I'm calling you. Dillian. Oh, Dillian. She can't. Open the gate. It's locked. Try harder. She can't. The gate. She can't. She can't. Shut up! <laughs> she can't. She can't. <sighs> I don't know which is if they're more annoying than Navi or not at this point. There are times when they're helpful. There are times when they're funny. And there are times when they're creepy, so that works. And I can get there when it's dark. It's not really open, it's destroyed. Dillian, there he is. I also noticed that, um, whoa. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Where is he? Where's he gone? Where are the Those faces are still unsettled.
So I need to find the rune. The world won't seem so there simple. it is. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Seno explored new paths into the unknown. Why isn't he here? You can't go up you there. Can't. Not in this world. No, not in this world. You can't. But I noticed that the little symbols I'm missing for those stories. You know, I was, I thought I was pretty good at exploring, and I think I might have found out that it's the same symbol for each world. For each um, story that's missing, it's in some strange kind of S. Wait a minute. Do you think she remembers him? It's a strange kind of S. The S was one of the first symbols. I mean, the others have looped too, but I wonder if there's like one I can go back to that'll re-get, that'll give me some more. The Northmen. Tell this story about the death of Baldur. Ah, uh, probably not. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. So I think I thought I had something for what I'm missing. I'm, I'm, I'm I kind of want to say that there'll be a point where all the stories get finished at once, and there'll be some weird connecting feature. But I'm starting to think I'm wrong there. It doesn't seem to match what's going on elsewhere. Your ghost. We can go and. They can't go in there. They can go over here. No stories. Come on. Tell me more of the story of Balder. Look what happens to the things you love. Oh shut up. Oh, it's not Shane. There he is. Where are you taking him? He's up there. How do you get up there? There's a way. There is a way up there. Find the way. She can do it. You're nearly there. She can find the way. One of the voice has some optimism now. Voices. And amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. Curse. Now the darkness is swallowing you both. Not even slightly suspicious of that question, huh? Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe. 
and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Lord. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past, and Dillian, her future. This is all we have to do. Stop giving me crap, boys. This is gonna get me a sword, and then I can go and kill Hella. I'm sick of these voices. Keep talking. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they. Blind God, who was there? Gotta make him actually say Loki it all. Asks him why he wasn't taking part. Gotta listen to the rock. Hoof says, "I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon." Loki replies, "Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands." And Hoof throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror. Baldur is killed, and for this, Huth is slain. Poor Huth. Do you remember? I mean, the... <laughs> Loki's such a dick. Uh, it's somewhere around here already. Probably upwards then. Oh, hi. We're here. And then up we go. And then here we go. They mean nothing. Oh, I gotta go to the other side. I need you to drown out these unsupportive voices. It would be the first time. What? Why can't I hear anything? See, and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief, and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Oh yeah, hell is for anyone who didn't die in battle. Poor Baldur. I think I need to go outside on the next level, and that'll take me around. Like, I gotta go outside in the darkness. He was the only one that really loved him. Can I switch from up here? 
Why is that there? Can't switch there. Oh, I can switch here. Voices continue to be dicks. All right, good. It does open up over here. Oh, so another rune out here, baby? Please. Could certainly you use more runes. Can you remember what love feels like? Look what happens to the thing she loves. She destroys the thing. She has the thing she loves in a bag at her hip. Well, the head of it. That's what counts. Do you even remember? His love is kind. There you are. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermon to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. What if this is pointless? Runes, you see runes everywhere. Everywhere. But what if they're not real? What if Shut up! Let him sense? talk! I'm trying to hear the, the story of Balder. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind, but it doesn't make sense in the real world. The gods are mute. But it doesn't mean anything. You can't read this language, you don't understand. Zimbel was right. You're wasting time. I cursed. Anyway, we are out of time, and these guys won't shut up. I just want to hear the story of Baldur. But we're going to have to get to it next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you then, when we're going to start Baldur's story over and find out if he got to escape hell. Because I wasn't reading. I Spoilers! Later.